Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask PYS. So we've got a boater named Jordan, and Jordan asks the following question. Jeff, I'm installing a new electrical windlass with 2-watt wire. So that's a pretty, like, almost thumb-tick wire. Like, this is a thick wire, and that's what my windlass also uses. Do I wire my windlass to my switch distribution bar on my DC panel is wire 2, or do I run a wire all the way back to the bus bar nearest the battery switch and make that unswitched distribution bar. Well, first of all, thank you for using the right words. I have to say that clearly makes brings a smile on my face that you're actually listening. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually figure out a little bit about this whole concept of switch and, and unswitched distribution. So if you look here on the diagram, um, what you've got is we've got an unswitched distribution right here and we've got a switch distribution right here. So the question is good, but it's actually complicated because the problem is most of the times our DC panels are not wired with large wires connected to them, right? They're not running windless loads. I rarely, it's not all the time, but rarely see a panel that is wired appropriately with really large cables from the batteries so that the windless can actually be energized from the DC panel. And in most cases, what we end up doing is we actually end up running the two watt wire or whatever windless wire is required to power the windless pretty much close to the batteries. And close to the batteries, I actually always install both a switched and an unswitched distribution really close to the batteries for this very reason. And that's what I have on my boat. My windless is connected pretty close to the batteries, but it is on the switch distribution side. Now, why switch and not unswitched? The reason is that at a flick of a switch, right, just simply a single throw, you need as a boater to know that you're disconnecting pretty much all loads on your boat. All loads have to be disconnected almost in a heartbeat. There's going to be some loads that are going to be connected to your unswitched distribution, like a bilge pump, a carbon monoxide detector, radio memory, and those things are always on. But when you turn that switch off, a windlass should go off too. And so you're going to want to install the windlass to the switch distribution, but what you want to do is you want to have those cable lengths to be as short as possible. And most of the time, because the DC panel is not powered properly with the right gauge cable to power a windlass, you're going to want to install and bring the wire to as close to the battery as possible and have it be on the switch distribution of your batteries. It's a great question. Thank you for watching this uh, PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask it below or contact us on our contact form on our website. I'm happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping our channel ad-free by purchasing some merch on our store or making a donation through PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.